Hey Jeff, this is Chris from Arkansas. I'm 34 and I've been a member of Athlinex for the last 8 to 10 months. My Ask Jeff question is, what's the difference between a cramp and a contraction? During certain moves like cable crossovers, I'll get a bad cramp here under my armpit. When I do things like bicep curls, I get a big cramp right here at the front of my arm. And when I try to do things like barbell hip thrusts, I get Charlie horse cramps in my hamstrings. Now keep in mind I do an 8 to 12 minute dynamic warm up prior to wor working out as well as a static stretch routine nightly. Thanks for all your information and keep up the great work. Thanks Chris, it's actually a really good question. You see, when people tighten up or cramp up during an exercise, the first thing they think is going on is that they're tight. So they'll start stretching their muscles out. So if you're getting in your chest, they'll start to stretch your chest out, even the way I showed you a couple weeks ago. They'll stretch their bicep out, or they'll stretch their hamstring out. The problem a lot of times is that the cramping is really a substitution for stability where you're lacking strength. So if you think about it this way, if you get cramping in your bicep, it might be that your actual, your bicep isn't able to handle the load that you're subjecting it to, so it cramps to provide stability to the joint, to the elbow, so that you can actually get through the movement without damaging it. But a cramp isn't a good way to form stability because a cramp will hurt, as you well know. So what we want to do is we want to try to strengthen the muscles that are cramping more. And we do this not in a contracted position. So if you're trying to strengthen the bicep, you would not do it in an exercise that places peak, contra you know, peak tension at peak contraction. So like with a, uh, a spider curl where I'm leaning over, I'm getting a peak contraction and peak tension at the same point. That's likely going to lead to a lot of cramping. The same thing happens with a bridge, as you describe, bridging up in, in at peak contraction of the glutes and maybe into the hamstrings, you're getting a, a cramp. So what you do is, for the bicep, you try to get an exercise that places peak contraction or peak tension in the middle of the, uh, the strength curve. So for a barbell curl, we get it somewhere around here, but as I get to the very top where I'm fully contracted, I actually don't have as much tension there. So you try to increase your strength in all of the exercises that don't place that tension at its highest in the peak contraction state. Once you do that, you'll notice that when you build up your strength in those exercises, you go back to doing the exercises that were causing the problem and you should have no problems anymore. At least you should find it to be dramatically reduced. Of course, make sure you're drinking enough and hydrating because a muscle can easily cramp at a lot higher rate and frequency when it's not hydrated and it's in a dehydrated state. Okay, so I hope you found this uh, helpful. And remember guys, if you want your Axe Jeff question answered here, all you gotta do is make sure you send me one. Record a video of you asking the question that's been most on your mind and I will do my best to answer it here in a future Ask Jeff segment. In the meantime guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave a comment and a thumbs up below and uh, I'll see you guys over at athletics.com. See ya.